every week we are adding a new little win onto our wall of fame, if you can imagine it. These are the little things, the tiny things in life that make just everything else okay. When your flatmate gets up first and puts the heating on, that moment you find a parking space right outside your front door, when you forget your face mask and then find one in your coat pocket, that kind of shenanigan. Next week, you get to put your little wins onto the wall of fame. You might go up against a big celebrity, you might go up against your husband, and one of you will win. We even have a fanfare button. It is thrilling. Before that, I am delighted, tickled pink if you like, to say that the first people to put a little win onto the wall of fame the one and only, I'm going to clap, I don't even care, it's Ant and Deck. Oh, hello, Gloria. Can we clap? We'll clap too. We'll clap too, there you are. Sounds like Steve Wright's posse. <laughs> <laughs> that is phenomenal. Thank you so much for joining us. Before I ask you about your little wins, we need to discuss possibly for two days your show. We can't talk about it for two days because you'll be doing it live. It's always been phenomenal, but there was something incredibly moving about Saturday. I mean, I love your wall of viewers. I love, mm. thank you, miss. I mean, how do you not unravel while you're doing it? We nearly did in part one yeah, of we the did. show. Last week's yeah. show was the, probably the first time both of us nearly went. Yeah, we both wavered a bit during the show. But it, do you know what? It's just so lovely to be back. And with everything that's that's gone on, and we you know it was touch and go at some points as to whether we were actually going to be able to make a series live in the studio. Now we've got our virtual wall of a live audience. We've got 300, 300 living rooms that we're sailing into all at the same time. And it just feels really special to be doing something live on the telly and, and trying to you know, unite the families and get them all on the sofas and unite the nation a little bit and just give us all a little bit of joy for an hour and a half on a Saturday night. Well, that's what the winner said who wouldn't win the ads. We were like, how do you feel? Uh, in that frantic moment when you're getting told in your ear, wrap this up, wrap this up. And we're like, how, how do you feel? You, you've won all the ads. And she went, you've just brought joy back into my life. I oh, know, I know. The edge. I know, but I saw both your faces and you just sort of went, oh, because just the way <laughs> she summed it up. And also I love it when you go right into their sitting rooms so you go you've won a holiday and then you tell us why and my family and I we were just in floods just going come on we'll drive them to the airport when we're allowed <laughs> <laughs> you know it's so, so lovely because you know a lot of people have had a really rubbish yeah. time over the last year and a lot of, but a lot of people have really gone the extra mile for yes. others and it just restores your faith in human nature a bit and it's nice to be able to celebrate that on a Saturday night Absolutely. It was really moving. And also, I know that I might be wanging on hilarious. I mean, Harry and Jamie Redknapp. Uh -huh. I mean, that was extraordinary. Just how Jamie was howling, howling. <laughs> yeah, howling so much that his cup of tea came out of his nose. <laughs> He yeah. was laughing that much. They were the worst pair of gigglers we've ever had <laughs> in the show. And we were really cheeky because we had a feed to them uh, independently so uh, we could speak to one without the other one knowing. We were quite mischievous in what we were getting them to say to each other, uh, which I think helped, helped the giggles. But well, we've got we've got we've got more of those this series, and we've got your old mate Davina um, coming up very soon, and we're equally as cheeky with her. So uh, that's one to look forward to. But as well. she's utterly brilliant, and she she'll be obedient because she's a lovely human oh, being. Yeah. You know, very she, compliant. She, she she's does a, what she's told. She's a compliant lady. <laughs> Um, let me also say, I'm so, I mean, livid is a strong word, but the fact that my, my children have now said, Mum, so the combination of, like, football and golf, right, we can do that? We can do that in the lounge? And I'm like, no, 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 no. And we don't have those outfits. It's a solid no, guys. It's a solid no. <laughs> No, yeah, I think we, uh, we'll we get some complaints about that, I think. It was, There'll be a lot of parents uh, seeing the same. It was very good. Uh, stay there, but we're going to hear Banana Rama. Fantastic. <gasps> oh, I know. Oh, really. it's about to. <laughs> and then after that, you're going to reveal your little win. Here's Banana Rama. <laughs> that was Banana Rama. You're listening to me, Claudia Winkman, on BBC Radio 2, with my brilliant guests, Ant and Deck, who are choosing their little wins. So, Ant... Yeah. Um, what is your your little win? I'll tell you what mine is. You know when you're watching a series on a streamer mm. and they're all different lengths. You know, some are 10, mm. some are 8, some, go, some are 16. Mm. You know, depending on the series, you don't know how many episodes you get per series. And a little win is, we've got one left! Yes! You think, you think you've finished the series and then you look back and you've got an extra episode. That, that to me, 
is a very, it's a little win. I tell you what, night. it's a gift. It's a gift in the evening when you're when you're struggling to watch something. That is a big win, guys. They're, they're all one or two, though. You go, how are they going to get another episode out of this? Yeah, I know. They're all one or two like that. But yeah, yeah. you're right. When you're into that, is a little yeah. Win. There's another one. What have you? Have you? I hate to be annoying. Are there series that you've loved that have sort of kept you going? Yeah, yeah. There was. I mean, there was that one called The Servant. Yes. Uh, then The Serpent on iPlayer. On iPlayer, which was really good. The Queen's Gambit. Oh, Amazing. My we loved. Uh, yeah, several. That is an excellent little win. That might make it onto the Hall of Fame. Uh, I'm not being funny, but Deck, you should be terrified. Let us break for some music. Really? <laughs> this is Birdie. Thank you, boys. You are listening to Actual Ant and Actual Deck. They are revealing their little wins. Ant had a marvellous one, marvellous, which is, and I'll let you do the upsum, but go, go ahead before Deck reveals his. The upsum is finding one extra episode on the end of the series when you think you've already finished the series. It's a lovely little win at the end of the day. Yeah. It really is. I like it. You've got some shepherd's pie and you go, you're not going to believe this, babe. We've got another one. Sit we've down. Got one. <laughs> Let's you know, get a blanket. Got we haven't got one. We've got two to watch. Yeah. No, it's a very good little win. So it, it's hard, Dick, but what's your little win? Well, I'm going to go quite old school on this one. And this is one that we've all been in this situation. It's where you find a pair of jeans you haven't worn for ages and go, oh, I'm going to try these on. And there's a fiver or a tenner yes. in the pocket. You go, oh, look at that. Free money. Yes, that's very good. Yeah, from Mount Debt, is it like £50 or less? Or checks with like a million pounds in? <laughs> no, no, a fiver. A fiver. I found £10 million on my inside pocket. <laughs> and now that none of us really use money anymore, none of us carry money, is yeah. it just me? Yeah, no, I mean, it's totally. just con- Yes, so when you go, oh, look, old school £5 money. Yeah. This yes. is a win free money. I love free money. We always joke with Stephen Mulhern talking about money because he we were out with dinner with him. This is way back. And um, he went, oh, my God, what's the date today? We're like, why? He went, because I've got to get to the bank before the old £20 notes run out of date. And we're like, what? And then he put his hand in his pocket and he just had, like, piles of £20. Like, he... He's no. the opposite of all of us these days who are quite contactless and go on with no money. He carries, like, bottles of cash. He, or he cash. did, he he did cash. back in the day. I mean, I'm uh, sure it's all legit if the tax man's listening. <laughs> I'm sure it's all legit. But he does love a bit of cash. Does he? Does he use an elastic band? Does he have them in rolls and he goes, all right, Winkleman, yeah, let's go and get a coffee. And he pulls out a whip. Because that's quite erotic. OK, so we've got finding a fiver... <laughs> I'm not lying. Fiver in your pocket. And we've also got finding one last episode in the box set of your dreams. We are breaking for music. This is Scissor Sisters. If you two want to dance, I'm all right with it. We'll be back in three minutes. That was, of course, Scissor Sisters. You're listening to me, Claudia Winkleman, uh, on BBC Radio 2. Ant and Deck, they've both... Been very strong arguments for their little mm-hmm. wins. Before we reveal who's won, and I still don't know because they're both good, can you tell us uh, who's on takeaway tonight? We've got another jam packed show tonight. Uh, got Gordon Ramsay in the studio, he's our star guest announcer. Uh, and we've got Rag and Bone Man, who's oh. here in his new single, who is brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. He's absolutely massive. Did you know this? He's like six foot eight. No. Um, Yes, yeah, so there's, there's so, going to be a tiny size difference. Yeah, on the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, and we dress up as pandas again. Um, Stop. Just undercover on um, kids. Very sweet. The pandas come alive and, and talk to the kids and uh, surprisingly don't freak them out completely. <laughs> it's not all of them. Not all of them. Yeah, some, some of them. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, mostly, yeah, but mostly they're very, very sweet. So that, that's, that's really fun. But yeah, we're back seven o'clock tonight. We will all be watching. And here's the moment of truth. You can tremble, you can sob, you can hold on to each other. Here we go. OK, the first thing that is going onto the imaginary wall of tiny things is... I mean, they're both so good. But I'm afraid... Deck, you win! Yay! Everybody loves what? free money. I we love all love free money. Do you know what I love about you both? You're so sweet. You come on here, my first show, and you're doing pretend excited. I'm into it. Or maybe you're <laughs> trying. But anyway, I'm incredibly <laughs> grateful. 
I'm genuinely. I am that. genuinely excited. I, I really I am. Better answer. <laughs> no, yeah, no. You both had excellent answers, and there is nothing like it. If I turn around to my husband and go, "Oh, I'm not being funny," there's another one. This is lovely. This is charming. Let's sit cross-legged. Make me a hot chocolate. However, you bet. However, on, you put on an old coat. An oh. old, slightly manky coat because you're going for a walk yeah. to feed a squirrel, yeah. and you go, yeah. "What's that crinkly thing?" You know it's what I mean. Free money. Uh, both of you, thank you so much. Takeaway is on ITV seven o'clock tonight with a whole host of brilliant guests and fantastic items. And thank you so much for coming on. Thanks, oh, it's for, a real pleasure. Thanks for having us. Lovely to talk Good to you. Good luck with the rest of it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. 